From the most tropical and second largest of all continents of the world, Africa, comes the African Minister's Council on Water, AMCO. AMCO, a dream nursed across the soils of Africa. A vision that spanned through years of consultations by ministers and heads of states across Africa. In April 2002, ministers responsible for water in 41 African countries gathered in Abuja to officially launch the African Minister's Council on Water, AMCO, on the adoption of the Abuja Ministerial Declaration on Water. One of its kind on the continent, AMCO envisions an Africa on the driver's seat in addressing her numerous developmental challenges. A collaboration of African countries, AMCO aims to deliver political leadership, policy direction and advocacy in the provision, use and management of water resources. What better way to guarantee sustainable social and economic development and cooperation on the continent? Ladies and gentlemen, on this occasion of the 20th anniversary of AMCO, taking place on the African soil of Dakar, Senegal, I present to you the founding leaders, His Excellency Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, former Nigeria's president. He was Nigeria's sitting president during the struggle to establish AMCO. It was his fatherly role that provided the independence that has set AMCO apart. AMCO owes its autonomy and sustainability to former President Olusegun Obasanjo. Barrister Mukhtar Shehu Shagari. He is the first AMCO President, former Nigeria's Minister of Water Resources and appointed AMCO President in 2002. Barrister Shagari was instrumental in securing the enduring offer of his country, Nigeria, to host the Secretariat of AMCO, supported by substantial offers of financial support to the Secretariat. He played a crucial role in mobilizing confidence in the fledging Council of Ministers by establishing lasting partnerships. He chaired the launching of AMCO's Knowledge Hub of Hubs, a component of the Mukhtar Shehu Shagari Resource Center, MSSRC, located within the AMCO Secretariat. His Excellency, President Marki Saar, the President of the Republic of Senegal, is one of the founding fathers of AMCO. President Marki Saar played influential roles in the conception and establishment of the African Ministerial Council on Water as one of the first Vice Presidents of AMCO. He is at the forefront of initiatives to promote water and sanitation issues at continental and global levels. Key among these initiatives is the establishment of the Blue Fund to expand sources of capital for sustainable, climate-resilient water sanitation and hygiene, WASH infrastructure investments. Mr. Halifa Dramer. Halifa, Gambian, was a deputy director at the United Nations Environment Programme, UNEP, with solid African convictions. He worked hard through his life for the African cause. He fought to keep AMCOR independent of any agency. Halifa convinced His Excellency Olusegun Obasanjo to host the Secretariat of AMCOR in Abuja. He facilitated the provision of the seed money of 20,000 US dollars to convene the five key ministers from the five African regions for the first preparatory meeting. He was instrumental in getting AMCOR accepted as the Special Technical Committee of the Organization of African Unity. OAU. Halifa supervised the selection of the first substantive executive secretary, Mr. Bai Mas Tal. Ronnie Casrills from South Africa. Ronnie was Minister of Water Affairs and Forestry from 1999 to 2004. Minister Casrills and 12 of his fellow ministers in 2002 organized and hosted the first Africa Sand Conference in Johannesburg, South Africa just before the World Summit on Sustainable Development. That event helped increase opinions that achieved the inclusion of sanitation as a specific MDG, Millennium Development Goal Target. Today, Africa San has led to other continental sanitation movements like the Latin American Sanitation Conference, LatinoSan, and the South Asian Conference on Sanitation, SACOSAN. 
His Excellency Edward Lowassa, former Prime Minister of Tanzania. He was appointed Minister of Water and Livestock Development following the 2000 general elections. His tenure was remarkable for his hard work as a minister. Mr. Lowassa played more of catalytic roles that catalyzed the establishment of AMCO. We remember late Honorable Mrs. Maria Mutagamba, former Ugandan Minister for Water and Environment. She was the second AMCO president and held office from 2004 to 2012. One of her significant milestones includes the establishment of the African Water Facility, AWF. Also, she made immense efforts to further strengthen collaboration with external and internal African stakeholders. Late Mrs. Maria was the coordinator of the Global Women Leaders Forum for Water and Sanitation from 2005 to 2012. She championed the development of AMCOR's strategy for mainstreaming gender after the first Africa Water Week in Tunis in 2008. Mrs. Maria passed in Kampala at the age of 64 years. His Excellency Moleleki Monyane, former Deputy Prime Minister of Lesotho, made great contributions. He became the first president of the Governing Council of the Africa Water Facility. Honorable Martha Karua. She was former Kenyan Water Minister. She is still active in national politics in Kenya. She and her colleagues, Honorable Edward Lawasa, then Minister for Water and Livestock Development in Tanzania, and Honorable Maria Mutagamba, Uganda's Minister of State for Water Resources, jointly launched the Lake Victoria Region Water and Sanitation Initiative at a special event on 16th August 2004 during the Stockholm Water Week. Join us as we recognize and celebrate our founding leaders. To learn more about AMCOR, read our storybook on our website www.amcoronline.org or follow us on social media. Thank you.